game design and game programming. What's the difference? What exactly does game developer mean? These are questions which a lot of people are very confused about. And in this video, you're going to know the exact difference between a game designer and a game programmer. And you're going to also understand what the term game development means. And not only that, you will also learn how you can actually get these jobs and become professional game designers and game programmers. So let's go. Firstly, let's talk about the term game developer. Now, game developer is a term that means anybody who works on the game abroad, specifically everyone who works on the game project, even if they're programmers, designers or artists are actually game developers in India. However, the term game developer specifically means game programmer. Right now that you understood this, let's talk about what a game programmer does and let's talk about what a game designer does. Now, a game designer is someone who works at a game studio or by themselves or whatever it is and their job is to determine what the game exactly is. What is the story of the game? What are the mechanics of the game? What is the progression of the game? What is the game level going to look like? How is the difficulty curve going to be? What exactly does the player do from moment to moment in the game? And what kind of experience does the player have? What does their player feel from moment to moment in the game? This is the job of a game designer. So a game designer's job is to actually make documentation, write down, make sheets, make Excel sheets, make, make Word documents and actually firstly understand what exactly the game is and then explain that to the remaining team members. This can be done by means of meetings, by documentation, by calls, by talking to people, whatever, right? We'll come back to that later. Next, let's talk about game programming. A game programmer's job is to code. A game programmer needs to understand what exactly happens in the game. So for for example, the game designer will say, all right, so this character will spawn at this point. If you press the right arrow key, this character will start moving across the screen. And in the middle, if you press the space bar, then this character is going to jump. If you press space bar two times, this character is going to go jump two times. And this is a height that the character is going to jump. That's what the game designer will tell the game programmer. And then the game programmer will actually write all the code to make that happen, right? So fundamentally, game programmers follow the lead of game designers and they implement the game as the game designer determines. To do that, the game programmer usually uses a game engine such as Unity or Unreal or any other game engine, right? Now, also what happens is that a lot of people who do not know coding can actually make games such as Unreal. So in Unreal, you can actually build games by using Blueprint. In Unreal, there is actually a scripting tool called Blueprint print and even designers can use that tool. However, traditionally, if you're a game programmer, you will be writing code. You will need to know the programming language, which for Unity is C sharp and for Unreal, it's C++. You will actually be writing code and you will be implementing the mechanics of the game. Another thing that the game programmer does is to actually implement the art. So the artist, the game artist creates the assets of the game, the characters, the sprites, the background, the props, the UI and all that kind of thing. And the game programmer's job is to actually take those assets, those art assets and actually put them into the game so that when the player comes in and presses a play button, for example, the game starts whenever the game, whenever the player presses a pause button, the game pauses right if there's any part of the ui when the player actually clicks that part of the user interface a specific thing happens so to explain everything the game designer designs the ui the functionality of the ui how it's going to work then the game artist actually makes the assets for the ui the buttons etc and then gives them to the programmer and then the programmer actually implements them in the game and then what happens then the game is tested once the programmer has actually implemented these assets then the game designer takes over and actually tests everything to see if 
it's working properly, if what was there in the documentation, if the instructions that were given are actually implemented properly, if the game feels right. Another thing that the game designer does is actually build the game world. Now, that's where level design and game world design happens. So the game designer actually needs to understand how to use a game engine even though he or she does not necessarily know how to code. They take the game engine and inside the game engine, they actually build the world, they put the assets, they actually make the gameplay, they make the progression, they create the spawn points, they place the buildings, the props, everything, and they create the player experience within the game. They do level design, they do game world design, right? So this is an, a very brief explanation of the difference between game design, game programming, and game art. If you have more questions, feel free to put them in the comment or reach out to me. Also, if you're interested in being a game programmer or a game designer or a game artist for that matter, do check out GamerToMaker.com, India's number one online game school, fully recognized by the government of India, MESC. The link is in the description. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for all the latest tips, tricks and hacks on game development. This is Rahul Segal here. I'll see you around. Let's go.